the boss skipping Las Vegas. And did you know the former Miss Universe brought up during the presidential oh. debate was crowned here in Las Vegas? It's true. I did not know that. Well, now you know. Well, here with more, behind that story is celebrity and more celebrity gossip. I was going to call him Celebrity Gossip Guru. He is. That would be a good name for here you. Here we go. Well, you the want guru. that name? Done right here today. Nice. Norm Clark. Yes. <laughs> work. I've been called a lot of different names. <laughs> can, can we touch back on conversations with Norm that happened uh, over the weekend at the Smith Yeah, Center? that was fabulous. Was Clinton Kelly, they, were, they just enthralled that crowd. Sean was there doing a great job as the announcer. And uh, I had, uh, one lady came up afterwards and said, uh, um, I could have I could have listened for three hours. And they had about 15 hours of material. Yeah, there was a lot to there was a lot of stories. It's yeah. pretty amazing. Very, yeah, very funny. And they told it so well with yeah. such uh, hilarity and and uh, at times grace. It was it was really fabulous. It's really awesome. Nice. Uh, so we were watching the uh, the presidential debate, and uh, you know, of course, I've, I've never heard Rosie O'Donnell mentioned in a debate before. But that's amazing. <laughs> but uh, among the people mentioned was Alicia Machado, who is a uh, Miss Universe, former Miss Universe. Uh, brought up by Hillary Clinton. Explain her story and how it connects to Las Vegas. Well, I, when I saw that she won Miss Universe, Miss Universe, the Miss Universe pageant has had a long history in Las mm -hmm. Vegas, and uh, looked it up, and in 1996 it was held here, and she won it, and uh, she uh, uh, had some interesting history. I'm sure it's probably going to come up in the next week or so that a couple of years afterwards, she was uh, arrested as the getaway driver for oh. an attempted murder oh. in Venezuela. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and judge, a judge, a judge, wow. a judge got her off. Of, I mean, the judge ruled that that there wasn't enough evidence on it, but she's got some colorful history, certainly. Well, uh, it's interesting that that wasn't sussed out before it was mentioned in the debate. Huh. But boy, we certainly will be seeing that story. Yeah, I'm sure yes. you will. Another thing is that uh, an interesting fact about that, that uh, uh, pageant was that one of the presenters was Marla Maples, who oh. was Trump's wife, yeah. but he didn't own the pageant at that time. He, he bought it a, a couple of years later. Mm -hmm. Mm. And uh, he and Marla Maples had uh, gotten married three years earlier. And among their guests, among the thousands of uh, the thousand guests, were two interesting names. Okay. Ooh. Rosie O'Donnell <laughs> <laughs> okay. and O.J. Simpson. Oh, oh man. <laughs> wow. Oh. Times have oh, changed a little wow. bit. Wow. So interesting. The relationships now. Crazy. change over the uh, uh, Speaking of politics, I'm wondering if there's any politics behind Bruce Springsteen passing up Vegas. Yeah, What's the what deal? Is that? You know, I'm not sure. Uh, he's, you know, he's had a, 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 re a relationship. Uh, remember, he didn't come here for the longest time. When I first yeah. moved here 17 years ago, one of my first scoops was that he was going to come here. And I had people write and say, no, you don't know what you're talking about. He never comes to Vegas. He doesn't like the, the idea you have to gouge. You know, he thinks it's gouging uh, fans that charge yeah. him 70, 80 bucks, and now it would be 100 and some, I'm sure. But um, he... Uh, uh, he's got a. He's launched his eight-city book tour, mm -hmm. and Las Vegas is not on that book tour. Not even for a book tour. Not, wow. not on the book tour. But I did bring. Oh, you, but they, they the are book, and it is on. It is on uh, on TV as well. Fantastic. It's just a fantastic read. I, I went through it sp uh, speed reading it last night. Um, a couple of, um, of uh, more interesting facts, factoids, um, is that he. Um, uh, was at Frank Sinatra's 80th birthday in 1995. Oh, wow. Uh, and he talks about everybody gathered around the piano, and Steve and Edie were there, and Steve was on the piano, and, and uh, Bob Dylan was singing along, and, and uh, uh, Bruce's wife, pa Patty Schiappa, uh, who is trained as a jazz artist, uh, started singing, and the, you know, the room was... There were little pockets of people talking of here course. and there, and everybody wanted to talk to Frank. And Edie Gourmet runs over to Frank and says, come here, you won't believe this. And Patty just enthralled him. So Bruce wrote in the book that I, I, I couldn't believe. I looked over, and there was my wife serenading Frank Sinatra and Bob <laughs> Dylan. But one of the things that, uh, that I really liked hey. is that she, go ahead. Oh, we're running out of time. Oh. Quick. Uh, okay. Five she seconds. said uh, she uh, loves she loves horses, and so she gave Bruce a horse, and and Bruce wrote in the book rule number one: never ride a horse named Lightning, Thunder, Caretaker, Undertaker. Um, 
or sudden death. <laughs> <laughs> Norman's going to see it. We'll have to check so out much. that book. Thanks for bringing it by. Catch the latest from Norm, the celebrity gossip guru just named, on Facebook. Just go to norm.vegas for a link to his Vegas diary or shoot him an email, and that's up on your screen. Stick with us. We'll be right back.